Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for March 2022. I do want to take a quick second just to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Um, also keep in mind in the monthly readings that they are a bit predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring for you at the current time, they may occur in the next couple of weeks. So keep that in mind. All right, Pisces, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces for March? What is the core issue you would like Pisces to know? All right, so we're starting out with the Page of Cups in the reverse. What's crossing that, Spirit? Show me what's crossing it. And the Four of Pentacles, also in the the reverse. Okay. All right. So with the Page of Cups in the reverse, um, Pisces, there may be something to do with a apology that was not received. If that's the case, I do feel like you're kind of letting it go. Um, might also be um, some kind of communication, a loving gesture of some sort. Whatever it is here, though, you're not, um, you're not holding on to it. You're releasing it. Let's see what happened in the past. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you were looking for whatever this was. So whatever, I'm not sure yet. We're going to clarify. Um, it does feel like an apology, though. I, I can see you were looking for it. You spent some time waiting for it. But I feel like when it didn't come through, you kind of cut some things out. Let's see why all this is happening. Yeah, the star in reverse. You were hoping for something to happen here. It could have it could be something to do with um someone that you have a you were hoping that there was some affection there. Um you may have had some beginning feelings for or because there's hope, there was hope here. Whatever this is, you've decided you're done with it. Because I can see you letting it go. You waited, you looked. Whatever it is didn't happen. You're letting it go. And you kind of gave up hope on it. And that's why all this is happening. All right, let's see what's on your mind. Two of Pentacles. So you're, you're thinking about making a decision here. Um, so there's a decision that's being made. Also, that decision is to bring in balance, to reinstate balance. Weighing up the pros and cons here. Um, let's see what may be coming in March that you may not see coming. Show me March for Pisces, please. Four of Cups in the reverse. So there's going to be a renewed sense of optimism in March. Yeah, so where there's a situation where there was apathy, um, either you or someone else was not really interested, not really looking, and then there's going to be like this renewed sense of um, somebody kind of taking notice. Uh, let's see how your energy is. Show me Pisces energy in March. We have the Five of Swords and Temperance. Wow, that's that's very almost like conflicting energy. So, with the Five of Swords, um, your you um, your energy here is one that there's you've got some fight in you. Okay, I feel like that fight is because of somebody that is either in your past or is in your life currently but they're in the shadows it's it, it could be someone in your past if it is in your past this is a person who would represent somebody who is very dark and has an emptiness in them if this is somebody in your present pisces um they they're going to be somebody again in that very same mold like there's an emptiness to this person and I can tell that um, 
there's conflict. You've had conflict with this person. So also in your energy though, I see that you are healing. You're, you're healing. And it really is because of the damage that was inflicted from this person. Yeah, there it feels like um it feels like this you're patiently, very patiently healing. And and bringing balance back into your life. Mm. I don't like the energy though of that person. We'll clarify that for sure. Let's see the energy that's coming towards you. Whoever it was represents someone dark, either in your past or currently, and you are you are in the process of currently of healing from that person. And I do not like your energy. All right, King of Swords, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, the energy coming towards you, now this person is gonna be someone who is probably very matter of fact, um, they're going to be very fair, most likely very truthful. Um, this is going to be somebody that they may come across as being very intellectual, not as um, emotional, but more, um, more uh, intellectual in the way they approach things. So, yeah, I do feel like this person will be truthful, though. Let's see um, what Spirit's advice is. Don't get too hung up on the signs because we literally have all of these signs in our um, in our charts somewhere. So Spirit's Advice, we have the King of Pentacles. So now I'm seeing two things with that. Take it as it resonates for you. One, um, I'm seeing that there is a um, good opportunity for commitment here um, for some of you. And for others, I'm seeing that there will be a influx of money for you in the month of March so some I see both yeah for some of you you're getting both nice so March is looking good okay let's see the outcome for Pisces show me the outcome I'm also seeing stability in March Show me the outcome at the end of March for Pisces. Oh, strength. Beautiful. So you're going to be overcoming some things in, um, in your life. Things that have been, things that have been um, internal struggles for you, Pisces, you're going to be overcoming them. That's nice. And I, I do feel like it is this um, associated with this person that you're healing from. I do feel like you're going to come out much stronger from that and I do feel like you're going to overcome this. All right, bottom of the deck. Look at that, the Empress. Beautiful energy. Now this is the underlying in energy here, Pisces. Um, somebody else got that as their underlying energy. I believe it was Sagittarius, but I'm not sure. So you might want to check out that reading. But it's beautiful energy. So for some of you, um, what I can see with that is that this is going to be um, a growth time for you. There's something here I can very clearly see that you're overcoming. It's something within you. And it is going to be overcome. You're going to come out much stronger. And it's setting you up very much like the Sagittarian reading. Um, for a period of abundance. So that's very nice energy. Um, with this particular card, I do see the, um, with the um, Empress in this particular card, there's a pregnancy, okay? So some of you may be getting pregnant. So if you're hoping for a pregnancy, um, it looks like it may be a very fertile time. And if you're not wanting to become pregnant, you might want to use protection. Um, but 
for the ma vast majority of you, what I am seeing is that this is going to be a come up time for you. It is a time of growth and definitely overcoming something from your past. So let's, um, you have new things coming in too, new, new things that will grow and become very, very abundant. So let's see what we have. Um, Spirit, what is a page of cups here? Because I see disappointment in your past from something that you were waiting for. Yeah. So it may have been a small offer of love or a gesture of love. It doesn't really look like an offer. It almost looks like an apology um, or perhaps, you know, just some, sh like a, a gesture, like, you know, show me how you feel about me kind of deal. Um, and it just never came forward. Somebody was moving very, very slow. And that's that was the problem. I do think that there were intentions there, but they were moving very slow for some reason. Um, so, Knight of Pentacles. We ha also have the Six of Wands in reverse. So you opted to, to release this. You opted to let it go because you felt that things were not working out. They were not successful. Um... Why is the Queen of Swords here in the reverse? Oh, it's okay. And it is uh, clarified with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> All right. Well, what I can tell you is that the person who is coming into your um, energy, the person who's approaching you, they are going to be a good match to that energy um, that you had. They are going to be, um, they're, good, they're looking as well, is what I'm trying to say. So, I do feel like they're going to be coming forward, matching that energy, and I, I feel like you waited for this person, and that the person had you waiting. So, ultimately, you decided to cut that person out. Yeah, because it just, it, it, it just didn't match up. It didn't come to fruition. All right, so let's see why the star is in reverse. Now, this is why everything is happening. Yeah, it was a new beginning. It was a new beginning. Um, it was a, a solid new beginning. It was that passion. Um, it was, you know, a love affair, perhaps. You just finally gave up. You said, uh, it's just not happening. Um, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Okay, so Four of Cups in the reverse. So you're going to feel... Now, we have the Four of Cups coming into your future. So, um, Pisces, when you make this decision... So, right now, you're thinking about things, right? You're thinking about it. It's on your mind. You know you want to make a decision here. Um, some kind of a decision. And you're bringing balance back into your life, okay? So once you bring that balance back into your life, things are going to um, become more positive. That's the turning point for you. Um, that's what's bringing March, the events of March in. So it really is beginning in your mind and it's currently percolating in your mind. So let's look at March because it's the same energy. It's the Four of Cups in reverse. It is a renewed sense of optimism and especially in an area where you may have felt neglected or ignored um, or bored perhaps with the situation and now something here is based upon a decision is going to change all of that so let's see what we have all right so we have the empress in reverse now underlying energy it's in the upright okay so we have the empress in reverse the devil in reverse. Ten of swords reversed. And the sun in reverse. Four of swords. Nine of coins reversed. And the page of wands. Okay, so this is what's coming in the month of March. So I 
What's coming is this renewed sense of optimism based upon you regaining balance and, and a decision. Um, balancing things out. So what are you balancing out? Well, it looks like a dry spell is the best way I can put it. Um, a period where there's been no growth, a period where things have not been um, prosperous and growing and, and like abundant. So you may have felt um, also some insecurities. You may have been feeling pretty insecure. You may have not really been recognizing your worth. Um, you may have been settling um, for a while with somebody that wasn't really giving you the love that you knew that you deserved. But I see you letting go of this, this energy that's toxic. So you may have for some reason felt like there was a very strong bond with that person. I see you letting that go. Um, it's going to be hard because I, I can see that there's a part of you that wants to, um, that you don't want to go through that painful ending. Um, but I, I can see that you are going to do that. You're going to let that, that, energy go. Um, I see it here and I'm seeing it in March and it'll probably occur in the earlier to mid part of March. I also see what what you are going to do is that you're going to start to get over this. You're, it's going to be a painful ending. You will get over the painful ending. Um, although you don't feel like you will, you may go through a period where you're going to be unhappy and you're going to pull back during the month of March. You'll pull back in order to heal your energy, okay? Um, and deal with the insecurities, deal with the loss. But towards the end of March, I see you receiving some form of good news with this Page of Wands. So most of March is going to be you kind of recalibrating, resetting yourself, letting something here go that wasn't successful, processing the pain, and then coming out of it, okay? And I don't see your, I don't think you're going to see this coming. I don't think that you're going to see this um, news coming. Now, for some of you, um, you're going to go through an ending and you're going to be pregnant and not even know it. You're not even going to be aware that you're pregnant and then you're going to find out towards the end of March for, for whoever this pregnancy is. And of course that's not oh, very many of you. It's, it may even be only for one. But you're, you will go through this breakup, this ending, because the person, there's a toxic situation here. And you're going to let that toxic situation go. You're going to process that. You'll pull back. You probably will go into a non-communication with that person. Because that's what I'm seeing. You're not going to even be communicating with that person. And you're going to feel, you know, you're going to be in your feels <laughs> for sure. And then you're going to find out you're pregnant. It'll be towards the end of March. So... That's not for everybody, of course, um, but everybody um, um, that is resonating with this, I do see you going into non-communication, you know, kind of collecting yourself, picking yourself back up, going through a little bit of insecurity, possibly light depression even, definitely feeling kind of um, blue, out of sorts. And that's, it's not just in relation to this connection. You're also letting go of something here from your past that is in relation to um, this shadowy figure. So for some it has to do with a connection, but for others it has to do um, also with a, an issue from your past. But I do see you coming out of that healing. I do see a lot of healing happening in March. Um, especially with regard to self-esteem issues and um, 
I also see you um, getting some really good news at the end of March. Now, some of you are also going to experience some financial loss, um, and Spirit is telling you that that, that is, you have money coming in. That's a side note. Um, let's look at your energy here, Pisces. Show me Pisces energy, please. Okay, again, here's that King of Swords. Okay, that's the energy that is coming towards you. So we have the King of Swords, we have the Fool in reverse, and we have the Strength card in reverse. Now, at the end of the month, your outcome is the Strength card in the upright. Okay, so your energy coming into March, okay, is... You know, definitely there's this conflict I see. I see you also healing from this conflict and being, you know, very patient with yourself, trying to balance yourself out. Um, I, towards the end of March, I see, or sometime in March, I see you meeting this person, this King of Swords. Now, they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or it could be that... Um, they just have those qualities. So don't get too hung up on the signs. Um, they, they could also have air strongly in their chart. But regardless, this is going to be somebody that is, um, or they could work in law enforcement or the court system. They could be also in a teaching field. Um, but regardless of any of that, you're going to be holding back. There's a lot of fear involved. You're holding back. There's a you you may want to go into a a new beginning with this person, but you will hold yourself back from that taking that leap of faith and it's because of fear. That fear, Pisces is is because you are healing from something in your past. And you are going to you are going to overcome those those fears. So I do see good things happening for you. Let's look at their energy. Um, why is the King of Swords here? Okay, we have the Three of Wands. We have the Lovers and the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So this person, um, they could very well be a... Um, they could very well be a soulmate. Um, I do see Gemini very strongly here. But they're, they're going to be willing to wait for you. This looks like somebody who is, they're going to be honest. They're going to be loving. They do have true emotions for you. And they're going to make an offer of love to you. They're, they're going to offer their themselves to you in love. They're you know, they're making an offer of love. Um, and it's going to be a big decision for them to do that. They have been waiting for someone like you, Pisces. And they're also willing to wait for you. Because they do see you as a, a perfect mate. This person sees you as an ideal mate. Alright, so let's see um, Spirit's advice. Why is the King of Pentacles here? All right, we have the Four of Wands, we have the Ten of Cups reversed, and we have the Death card reversed. Okay, so Spirit is saying that there is um, the potential for commitment here, um, and possibly marriage, <laughs> possibly marriage, but... If you um, are still holding on to these past issues, that it's going to it's going to prevent it. It's going to prevent your happiness here. It's going to prevent this from coming together in a in a really happy way. So you have to be able to resolve these fears and resolve these issues from your past, um, both with whoever it is that you're letting go. And also any issues from past. It almost feels like childhood, possibly childhood issues um, for some of you. But if you 
if you don't let go of those issues, if you don't resolve these things that you are working on here, it's going to prevent the happiness that you can have with this person. You really, this person is an ideal, ideal person for you. There's commitment, there's possibility of marriage, but you have to let go and heal the issues, um, previous issues, or you will be, you will remain unhappy. Um, and it will prevent happiness in this connection as well. Um, let's look at the outcome. Okay, we have the three of coins reversed, we have the tower reversed, and we have the seven of cups reversed. Okay, so um, I do see you overcoming these issues, particularly, um, you know, healing um, and overcoming the fears associated with this past issue um, and also with your fears of moving forward. Um, if those fears have prevented you from having this strong um, foundation and it's also caused tower moments for you in the past, Pisces. So I do see um, you kind of rebuilding your life with clarity um, once you overcome these things. And I do see you overcoming it. I do see you moving forward with strength overcoming things from your past, overcoming things internally um, that have prevented you from having that foundation. Um, now you might be a little bit uncooperative um, initially, but I do see that after some sort of a tower moment, an epiphany most likely, that you are going to gain great clarity. It, it's going to be because of the confusion. So wherever there has been confusion and where there's been a tower moment where things have just fallen down to the very base, um, where there has been absolutely no foundation left, that's where you're going to gain the clarity, Pisces. And now you're going to rebuild. You're going to rebuild. It's going to be a very strong foundation and you have the opportunity, if you would like to take it, um, to rebuild something with this person. But I do see you rebuilding it with yourself first. So that's, that's, um, that's beautiful. So you have good news coming in by the end of the month, for sure. And I do see you rebuilding yourself, rebuilding your own foundation, and the opportunity to rebuild with a person um, of your choosing. And bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. So you're going to get what you want here. You are getting exactly what you want by the end of the month. And I do see it's a it's a time of growth. It's a time of rebirth. It's a This is a nice reading. It's a time of healing. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to pull from the oracle cards and I have been directed <laughs> in meditation I was directed to um, pull um, without the crazy shuffle as of course spirit did say it was a crazy shuffle some of you guys did um, but I was given directions to pull in a different manner from the oracles and so that's what I'm doing and it has been crazy spot on so let's see so for you, Pisces, it says frustration. Your frustration is not a wasted energy if it is channeled positively to create a better outcome for yourself. Embrace frustration and work with it, not against it. All right. Sounds perfect. All right, I hope this has been helpful. This looks like a beautiful reading for you. A lot of healing and really good things coming in. So um, if you would like and share the video, if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you will do so. I would appreciate it. And if you want to drop a comment, please feel free to do so. Um, I welcome it and I do read all of them. Until I see you in the weeklies, namaste.